All right, fam, you know what? In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the best Instax camera you can buy in 2020, because frankly, I'm kind of tired of seeing photographers pull out really cheap, plasticky, colorful Fujifilm cameras, and there's so many better options out there on the market, but I'm gonna show you the ultimate, the best one in this video, so stay locked. All right, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've never done a video standing, but I heard that if you wear a beanie, stand while you record a video, and maybe talk in like a really monotone act, like voice, then you get a lot of views. <laughs> all, right, all right, I can't even do that, I can't, I can't front. But let me tell you about the camera that is gonna change your 2020 and make you not look as dumb taking instant photos. Yeah, let's, let's add some swag back taking instant photos because Fujifilm came and gave us a film, but they kind of made us look really stupid by making them look like little toys. So the best Instax film camera you can get is the Lomography uh, Lomo Instant Automat. It is by far the best camera on the market. So if, if, if that's all you needed to know, just like leave the video now. But if you actually wanna know reasons why this camera is so good, I'm gonna break it down for you. So let's let's go ahead and hit the, uh, the, the POV cam. All right, so here we are. And something that needs to be said that is really confusing is that Lomography actually makes two different instant film cameras it's actually this automat which is the new the new gen one but then they also have this really old crappy one and you know i just really wanted to point that out because uh this one is cheaper and you're gonna see it on the website it's also a lot bigger and has a lot less features and to be completely honest it's gonna be a complete waste of your money if you get this camera because the instant one is just 20 times better and honestly i really don't feel like explaining it but the best way to explain it is that the Lomo Instant, the first gen one, it's more of like a manual camera. So kind of like compare a point and shoot camera to like a Canon AE where you have to set all the settings. And the reason why I don't like that, and don't get me wrong, you can get great effects with this, but the reason why I don't like that is because with instant film, it's pretty much like what, a dollar or something like that per shot. And I found myself, and I use this a lot, I use this a lot in the field, I found myself messing up a lot with this camera in situations where I really needed that that uh, that that instant photo to hit, and I just wasted a lot of film. So it, it honestly stopped me from using this camera. But anyways, let's get back to like the real, real fucking thing. Here we are with the real OG Instax camera. Now, why is this camera so good? Look, this isn't gonna be a complete rundown, but honestly, I'm gonna give you the reasons why I completely love this camera. One, one big reason why I love this camera is it's a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller than the original Lomo camera, uh, which automatically wins because, uh, you know, anything bigger is just gonna be more annoying. The second reason why it's really amazing, which should probably be the first reason, is the fact that it's black. Like, it doesn't look like a, a crappy, ugly Fujifilm camera. When you pull this bad boy out and, like, people see that it's actually an Instax camera, their minds are so blown and they think it's some like expensive camera. It's it's honestly not that expensive either. So some more reasons why I love this camera is because it's instant, right? So since it's an instant camera, all your photos are gonna be good, which is amazing and it'll save you so much time and so much headache and so much money from missing shots. And then while we're just looking at the front, one of the biggest improvements over the last gen camera is this cap, this lens cap right here. But this lens cap is actually detachable uh, from the attachment like on the camera so like look when i hold it it's like jingling there but what's so ingenious is that the lens cap actually comes off and you can use it as a remote trigger to either do an instant shot or you can do a timer so it allows you to set your camera up somewhere like on a ledge or on a tripod and be a part of your own photo. So you can kind of create your own artistic instant photos. So if you ask me, this is one of the most ingenious things that I've ever seen Lomography do. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was just clever. It doesn't come with a battery, I don't think. So yeah, you gotta get one. I don't really remember because it's been years, but um, yeah, I just love this feature. So since we're on the front, I just wanna point out some other features. One, the, the shutter release right here on the front is actually a selfie mirror as well. So that's actually super useful. It's low key, but you wouldn't expect that, but it's super useful. So the flash is super powerful and you can put, it comes with like little gels. You can put the gels in there and do really cool effects. So I already, this camera is just a complete banger. And if you don't agree, then just leave this video and go get uh, a colored one. <laughs> Looking at the back, it's got a couple button functions. It has, it's, it's no flash, 
multiple exposure, which is fucking epic because you can do so many creative things. Multiple exposure, so that Lamography always um, has championed for a long time. And I love that they always add that feature to their cameras. Uh, it has uh, exposure compensation, and then it has two settings depending on uh, the situation you're in. Honestly, I don't ever touch that, and I should probably know more about it, but I don't. I just... I, it just always takes amazing photos and never misses, right? And if you turn it over, it's got a tripod mount right there, which is kind of a weird spot. But when you think about it, you're going to take Instax like this on 99% of the time. So the fact that they even put it there was just, you know, next level 10,000 IQ uh, thinking right there. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is my review and that is my blessing for you in 2020. Uh, so you can look suave and take instant photos and save money while doing it. You're gonna love this camera. It comes in a bunch of different colors and varieties and limited edition drops um, on their website. And you can buy this camera for $170. If you ask me, it's a completely worth it because I've had this camera for years and nothing bad has happened to it. However, if you remember me mentioning uh, the shitty instant, uh, the shitty Instax camera from Lomography, uh, this one, it only runs you $99, but please just don't, don't do it to yourself. Just, just, just go ahead and, and get the good thing while you're there because trust me, you're going to experience so much goddamn heartbreak. It's going to be ridiculous. So guys, that's it. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. Wow. I am, I am becoming a, a YouTuber. Jesus hurts my feelings. I'm even standing it now. Oh my God. But anyways, guys, I hope this helps. And I hope that the word film clickbaited you into watching this video. All right, guys. That's enough of me. Um, I'm going to sit my butt down and edit this video. So hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Peace.